What's up guys, we're here with the Paul Macbeth ESP Athena today. We're gonna do a review on it. We're gonna throw it on Heiser, flat and Anheuser for forehand and backhand. Uh, we're gonna pin it up against the Glory, the Evader, and the Explorer, which all have pretty similar flight numbers. The Explorer has the exact flight numbers. So, let's get it. All right, this is a Heiser, about a 300 foot hole. Didn't quite make it there. Held the line perfectly though. Flipped up just a baby bit. All right, so we're gonna start with the Explorer. It has the exact same numbers. 7502, I throw this, it's pretty straight. Then we'll go for a little more stable with the Glory. And then a little less glide and stable. And that's the Vader. So, let's get it. Heiser. Pretty much perfect. Um, holds a really nice line. Didn't really want to flip, but it also didn't really want to fade out too soon. Glory. Nearly identical flights. That one just a little more stable. Want to crash a little earlier. Evader. So they all fly pretty pretty similar. All right, now we're going to the basket that we just threw from, uh, except we're throwing flat this time. So here's the Athena on flat. It's pretty good, a little high. It went right where I threw it, and then right at the end, it had a good hook, which is what the Athena's meant to do. So pretty good. All right, same order, flat this time. That's where this thing really shines, so maybe if the Athena's got the same flight, you might wanna pick one up. I think just straight, I yanked it a little bit, a little right, but straight with some good fade at the end. Glory, this should have some more fade. That one to Heiser a lot quicker and it held the line really well as well. Evader. A good amount of glide, almost the same line as the Glory. All right, this time, throwing on Anheuser. I'm gonna give it a little high, high flex shot. We're gonna see how it goes. So it held the ante pretty good. Then as it got towards the end of the flat, started banking out and just leveled out and drifted to the right. All right, same deal, people. That was a little higher, but it held, and then once it finally got enough air underneath it, stalled out and fell. Try to get a little better Anheuser on this one. Considerably more stable on Anheuser, the glory. Last one, Evader. And that's just bomb. Held real nice, stabled out. 
Didn't really fall out, it just kept kind of gliding. Now for the forehand portion. First up, forehand hyzer. Wee! Kind of a spike hyzer line, but I held exactly where I put it. All right, here we go, forehand. Hyzer. I hit the pole. Perfect. <laughs> Held the line. Love it. <laughs> Explore is a money disc. <laughs> Alright, Heiser. A lot more stable on the glory. Put it on maybe a touch more Heiser. <coughs> but it's gonna dump a lot sooner. Evader, real similar to that Explorer, has a little more dump. And there it is, they all hold the line, no flip, just really nice flights. All right, now we're gonna throw all of them forehand and flat, so here we go. All right, here we go. Do it. Flash and chains, okay, explore. It's money. If you don't want to pay the Paul Macbeth monies and you want a disc like the Athena, look at the Explorer. Just base, opto, really nice. Immediately wanted the hyzer, put it out there a little flat, and then it just immediately dipped. So, last one evading. So that one even wanted to flex up, and then flex out, and that's kind of nice. A little different. I'll throw an Anheuser. My forehands are not great, so we're going to just give it the best run we can. That was zipped down there pretty good. Um, on the Anheuser, it, for about half the flight, it just held it. And then about halfway through, it just flipped over and hides it all the way out. We kept pushing forward. All right, here we go. Well, Anheuser. Um, let's see. A little high, but it held the ante, and then as soon as it started stalling, it just wanted to fall. Kind of like we've been talking about this whole time, that one wants to stable out a little sooner. So, similar flight, just a lot shorter. That one's great. Same flight, held the line, and then dumps at the end. All right, so what we got from today is that uh, the Athena and the Explorer, pretty much the same exact disc, uh, both really good, both good ferry drivers that go, and then always very predictable flight. However, this is really expensive, and this really isn't, so you don't have to spend the money like we did to get a disc that you want. Go for the Explorer.
Tune in next time for more disc golf reviews. You got common sense.